Well, with the Atlantic Ocean in our backyard, there's just an incredible opportunity to study the fascinating marine life below the waves. The research organization OSEARCH is currently in the waters off northeast Florida and southeast Georgia, and they're studying one of the world's most fascinating predators, the great white shark. Our own Elizabeth Campbell tagged along to see how OSEARCH tags and tracks sharks. Take a look. We came down in here and we caught Lydia a few years ago. Um, on the second to last day of an expedition, saw uh, one shark the next day that we weren't able to hook. Um, so we knew we had to come back in here. That this was obviously some place that the white sharks were visiting. It's hard to forget Lydia, a 2,000 pound great white shark, tagged right here off the coast of Jacksonville in March of 2013. OSEARCH captain and fishing master Brett McBride says you may also remember Mary Lee. Mary Lee led us down here, um, so we wanted to come down and see if we can uh, find out what kind of population of sharks live down here and enhance our um, sample size. She was tagged in September of 2012 in Cape Cod, but has made her way to northeast Florida and southeast Georgia dozens of times. Great white sharks like Mary Lee and Lydia are why OSEARCH is back in the Jacksonville area. Brett says being able to tag great whites and other sharks off our coast would be huge for their research. I think that, you know, over the years people have demonized sharks. They, they consider them um, scary monsters. And we're, so there's, there's a, a research. We want to find out science. We want to educate people. Um, we want to get kids involved, create future marine biologists maybe. Um, but definitely cons conservation-minded people. Um, people who to fall in love with the ocean and understand sharks are important and they're just because you're afraid of them doesn't mean you should be killing them. Founding chairman and expedition leader Chris Fisher says the crew has several goals while in Jacksonville. One of them is to try to tag the first mature white shark in North Atlantic history with a spot tag. That'll allow us to track that animal for up to six years and when that male shark crosses paths with our mature females, that will be the beacon that really indicates we've located the mating site. He says learning where the sharks mate is key to being able to further their research, help conserve, protect, and better understand the population. The juvenile baby white sharks are much more vulnerable than giant sharks to different types of gear types in the water. Once we locate that birthing site, tag a juvenile baby white shark, It'll define the nursery. Then we can look after the sharks in the nursery and we'll know we are going to help the balance keepers of the future succeed. Chris loves his job and says one of his favorite parts is sharing with the world the discoveries made by OSEARCH and their incredible team of scientists. It's really the democratization of exploration and science and education. We give everything away so the whole world can be involved in this journey in real time. It, science and exploration didn't used to work that way. It was for a very few privileged individuals who were our explorers or our scientists. Now this is exploration by the people for the people. Local scientists and University of North Florida biology professor Jim Gelschleider has participated in four OSEARCH expeditions. Like Chris, he says Answering questions related to the mating of great whites is key in this expedition. When do these animals become sexually mature? How often do they reproduce? How many babies do they have? Where are the babies born? And why are they coming into certain areas? Are these areas that are um, particularly for feeding or are they for reproduction? He hopes during the time OSEARCH is here, they will be led to a better understanding of the challenges these species face and how to keep them out of danger. So this is going to provide us with that information, hopefully, and we can then start to identify some regions that, for example, might need to be protected um, for, from uh, some other human influences, for example, fishing, uh, if, for example, juvenile white sharks are birthed in that particular location. I'm Elizabeth Campbell for River City Live. Wow, that is just incredible research. And you are a lucky lady. You and Rance are going to get to go out on the boat. Is we, that right? We are, Melissa. We are heading out onto the seas on Monday with the whole OSEARCH crew, their scientists. 
hoping to possibly get to see them tag a great white shark with our very own eyes. Wow. That would be absolutely incredible. <laughs> when they do this, it's amazing. They have tracked some of these sharks all the way up to Newfoundland, Nova Scotia. It is amazing how fast and how far these animals swim. Absolutely. Some of them travel thousands of miles within mm -hmm. just weeks and months. And I want everybody to head to the OSEARCH website to check out where these sharks are traveling in our area. It's OSEARCH.org.